Hi everybody, Broken Ebs here, welcome to today's video. So today's video, <coughs> I've taken my old 2010 potato of a PC and gone ahead and installed Linux Lite on it. Let's go to mm, System. Let's see if it populates it. So we're using Linux Lite 7.2. 6.8 generic kernel it's the stone dq 45 cb desktop i've literally done nothing to it other than install the operating system we are packing a dual core e8400 core 2 duo processor there you go running at three gig we've got four gigabytes of ddr3 ram uh, we've got an Intel motherboard and we've got an NVIDIA uh, GDX 1050 Ti 4GB graphics card. We've got a 480GB SATA SSD. Uh, excuse me. And that's about it. Uh, so as you can see, we've done absolutely nothing. I've not even run any updates on it. Uh, uh, excuse me. But considering... It's a computer that you certainly wouldn't want to run or attempt to run Microsoft Windows on, no matter what workarounds you've seen on the YouTube. Um, with Linux Lite, uh, it's absolutely usable. Uh, is it a state-of-the-art gaming PC? Nope. <laughs> mm. Um. However, uh, RAM, uh, we've got, we're not using any swap at the minute, which is great. Let's have a look at the SSD. And we've got 403 gig free, capacity 438. Some of that's being used for the operating system. Some of it's being used for swap. GPU, we do have an NVIDIA GDX 1050 Ti, 4GB, as you can see but I've not installed literally anything on it so far. So what's the first thing I'm going to do? Well, I guess you're going to uh I guess you're going to update the system ebs. Uh no, I'm not. Before I do anything, I'm going to go to the network settings and I'm going to change it to manual and I'm going to add my own IP address so 192.168.1. Mm. One two five. That mask will be uh two five five dot two five five dot two five five dot zero. I don't know how this is gonna record um with using the Mesa graphics uh as opposed to the NVIDIA drivers, but anyway, I guess we'll find out. One nine two dot one six eight dot one dot one is the gateway uh dns servers of course one dot zero dot zero dot one uh use commas to separate multiple mm. don't really want multiple so i'm happy with that i just want it to force it to use cloudflare uh and not the one dot one dot one dot one cloudflare neither so let's go ahead and disable networking there we go. Four, five, and let's enable networking. <clears throat> okay, so we're now connected. So the next thing we need to do um, is install updates, I guess. Uh, but before we do that, let's type in welcome, uh, light welcome, beautiful. Um, all I've done to change it is move the main panel from the bottom to the top because personally that's where I like it. But normally this would be at the bottom. And I've altered the screen resolution from 1080p to 720p. So here's the light welcome screen. Let's go ahead and follow what they recommend. So first of all, let's install drivers. Uh, p 
pop our system password in. Mm. Now, last time I tried uh, Linux Lite, uh, this failed, and I ended up just doing a sudo app get install blah blah blah. Uh, however, let's see if it works this time and is successful. Well, looks like it's going to be okay. Now, available updates, I cannot read that update now. Um, now, I just want to get this crystal clear from the get-go. Um, Linux Lite will run on even less specs than what I'm running here. However, um, please uh, forgive uh, the operating system's speed and performance. It's nothing to do with Linux Lite. It's the limitation of the hardware that I'm running. I think it looks beautiful. I think it looks fantastic. Uh, and I think it's doing absolutely everything I'm asking off of it. Um, whilst recording a 720p video. So, you know, I mean, all kudos to Valtum and the team. And the other reason I love Linux Lite is it's just here year after year god help us if anything ever happens to it because it's just fantastic i'm still in 2024 heading into 2025 blown away that there's not a single youtuber using this operating system as their daily driver absolutely blown away by the fact that nobody seems to be using this OS as their daily. Um, just find it all a little bit overwhelming um, because it is a fabulous operating system and it's absolutely perfect for potato PCs like the one that we've got here. The other thing that I love about Linux Lite is that um, no matter how limiting your hardware is, Linux Lite still continues to function, run, and do what you ask it to do. That's fantastic, absolutely. Considering it's a dual core E8400 and it's it's frequency, maybe we can set that to run at three gigahertz permanent. The PC is actually silent. Um, I'm guessing it's going to struggle to generate heat anyway. <laughs> it's a look. It's a dual core processor, uh, and there it goes. It's setting up. Blah blah blah. There it goes. It's downloaded the updates, and it's setting them all and updating the system. Uh, what more can you ask for? So, if you're a Windows 10 user on a 2010, 2011, 2012 class of PC. Uh, which is possibly a Core 2 Duo, or if you've bought a cheap Core 2 Duo PC off of eBay with only 4 gigabytes of RAM, then this series is going to 100% be for you. This isn't my main gaming PC, but could I force myself uh, to use it as my main daily driver and produce... YouTube content on it. Pretty shitty YouTube content, terrible YouTube content, but nevertheless, the answer is yes. And you'll see I'm using Simple Screen Recorder to make my videos rather than OBS. Now, once we get the NVIDIA drivers installed and all our software installed, set up and configured, uh, then that may well become an option. But for now, I'm going to stick with Simple Screen um, because she works very, very well. Firewall. Oh, install drive. I mean, it's all here for you. Uh, and we've got light sounds as well, which is awesome. So uh, we can enable system sounds. There we go. System sounds have been enabled. We can enable the login sound. We can enable 
the log out sound pop in our system password bump and there it goes and the log out sound may already be enabled yeah that's fine uh and we also have a few other bits and pieces that we could enable there and we have sound oh, i'll just love it i love the fact that linux Lite offers you all of this uh right out the box um and leaves you the user very little actually uh to do so light 7 built and based off of ubuntu 24.04 long-term support so it should run as the days long uh, as i say if you're running windows 10 and you're in the upgrade dilemma this sort of pc although it does have tpm 2.0 would you believe from 2010 um windows 11 is not going to run on a core 2 duo neither would it want to uh, and if it did run it would be so slow you would go through a kettle full of cups of tea or coffee whilst you're waiting for your PC to do something. However, don't ditch the PC. Don't do it because, as you'll see from this series, your Core 2 Duo PC is perfectly able, perfectly capable in 2025 to do the stuff that you want to do. Now, if you want to do AAA gaming, it's possible. <laughs> possible. Locally, not possible. Uh, via the internet, absolutely possible, for sure. Um, and for most other daily tasks, this class of PC is absolutely fine. So internet, email, browsing the web, um, bit of media streaming, bit of Netflix, Twitch, YouTube should be absolutely tickety boo. Would you like to view the Linux Lite updates log? No, thank you. Uh, do you want to restart? No, because I'm making a video, so I'm going to continue using the computer. But I do need to do a reboot. Reboot. So. I'm going to end the video here, and in the next video, we'll go ahead and install the NVIDIA drivers. Let's see if that works well or if it guffs up. Thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe, thumb the videos up if you love them, down if you hated them. I will see you for another wicked Broken Ebes video.